Hi everyone. In this video, we will be covering go to page. So this example is a very quick quiz. And the question is, which animal makes the best pet? And here I have two buttons. Um, you can get buttons from the widget tab and you can change the color and the font and the border. And what I want to happen is if I click on dogs, it goes to the page that talks about dogs. And if I click on cats, then it goes to the page that explains more about cats. So let's look at the event graph to see how we can code that. So the first thing you'll need is on click. So we're going to need two of them because two things can be clicked. You can click on dogs or you can click on cats. So when you click on dogs, and when you click on cats, and I want the function go to page, go to page, right here. And I would want two of them. So when I click on dogs, I want to go to page, in this case, it's page two. And when I click on cats, I want to go to page three. So let's take a look to see how it works. Dogs, great. And let's go back. And if I say cats, great, just like that. So generally what you would want to happen is um, on the dogs and cats page to have a button that redirects you back to page one. Another thing that you might want to consider is making it so that you can't uh, swipe left or swipe right on page one, that you have to click on dogs or cats. Because as you can see here, I can still go to the next page. And sometimes I want to make it so I have to click on the button in order to navigate. So if I want to make it so that I have to click on the button to navigate, I want to use these two. These two functions. So on page start, lock the navigation to the next page. And in this case, since page one is the first page, I don't have to actually lock navigation to the previous page. But if I wanted to have the choice on like page two, where I can go forward or backward, I would want to lock it like so. And if I click preview now, when I click on the buttons to the left, I can't actually go to the next page. I have to click on one of the buttons dogs or cats. So let's click cats again. And you see cats are relatively quiet and self-sufficient. They make great pets for people who have limited indoor space, a busy lifestyle, or simply want a more independent pet. And that's it for go to page. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on how to make your story interactive on elementary. Thanks again. Bye-bye.